Let's get started with Conda. First, you want to download the installer. Go to anaconda.com slash download for mini Conda and Anaconda distribution or conda-forge.org slash download if you want to use mini forge. Next is launching Conda. Conda is available as a command line application in your favorite terminal. On Windows, it also comes as an Anaconda or Mini Forge command and PowerShell prompt, so you can search for those and launch them directly on Linux or Mac OS. Uh, it integrates and initializes with your terminal. Conda environments define what software is available for a project. This includes managing Python itself, as well as packages for multiple programming languages. Each Conda environment is complete isolated software stack in its own directory, which is amazing. To create an environment, run Conda create dash dash name with the environment name. You can also add packages after the environment name to install them all in one step. To see all of your environments, you can also type Conda env list. To install additional packages, activate the environment using Conda activate environment name, and then type Conda install package name. Here I'm installing matplotlib, a common plotting library. A channel is a location where Conda can search for packages. You can specify that we want to use a specific channel for a package by typing Conda install the channel name colon colon the package name. Here we're installing numpy from a Conda Forge channel. The last tip is to make sure you keep Conda up to date. To update Conda, type Conda activate to get back to the base environment, and then type Conda update Conda. That's it. Have a great time getting your computational work done. See you later.